Well, greetings, friends. This is Pamela Ray with Hope for Today, and you won't believe where I am. Guess what? Today was the first day of Cabela's opening the Santa Claus display with Santa sitting on this uh, throne that I'm sitting in now. Apparently, he's gone for right now. So I thought, hey, I'm going to do a little mini sermon here from his uh, cute little uh, place here with all the presents and trees and everything. And all the display here you can see it here the reindeer and all you know and i just want to do a little quick mini sermon here friends and say you know christmas true biblical scriptural christ-centered christmas is a wonderful thing to celebrate every single year where the focus is on god and jesus the giver of every good and perfect gift the true one who knows what child has been naughty and nice and has presents and gifts for all those who trust in him from heaven itself. And I want to say, friends, it's a shame when the world has substituted its pagan substitute for uh, Jesus Christ, you know, and, and the true gifts from heaven and the true wonderful one who knows whether you've been naughty or nice, like the old song that Santa, he knows whether you've been naughty or nice. Well, guess what? He's just a mythological creation based on what was a wonderful Christian bishop, St. Nicholas, Bishop of Myra, who was known for giving gifts and blessing people, but he was a godly man of God. He was an actual bishop and served the Lord Jesus Christ. But then that got distorted throughout the centuries into a mythical creature. And the song says he knows when, if, you've been, if you're sleeping, he knows if you've been naughty or nice, you know, and one who comes with presents from the air and all. But that's stealing Jesus Christ and his his glorious powers that are divine and omniscient. He knows who has been naughty or nice friends, and that's absolutely from the Word of God. And he has gifts, gifts, gifts from heaven. Hallelujah. And yes, he comes from on high. Praise God. He sends us glorious gifts. The Bible speaks of the gifts of the Holy Spirit, the gift of love, the gift of life, the gift of eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life life and that's the true gift of God that we need to celebrate at Christmas time because these gifts here presents boxes everything wrapped up nice and lovely they're nice they're pretty but they are not eternal the true gift that we should be celebrating at any time we celebrate the coming of God's son to earth even as the angels celebrated the coming of Jesus Christ to earth his birth the true gift is Jesus Christ himself for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life and that is jesus christ the true gift of god this time of the year that we celebrate his holy birth we should always keep that in mind and parents if you love your children don't please don't teach them the myth of santa claus and and he knows if you've been naughty or nice and he's the one who gives the gifts get their focus on jesus christ the true gift of god that we should be celebrating at christmas time because anything else becomes an idol and santa has become literally to many a pagan idol and children are taught to believe in a lie the santa claus as depicted in funny songs and stories is not the true giver of every good and perfect gift the one who knows if you've been naughty or nice so friends at this time of the year don't take your kids to see santa at any store rather sit down with a bible or christian's bible storybook and share with them all about the real gift of god at christmas time that we should be celebrating worshiping reverencing honoring and recounting his story and that is jesus christ and almighty god as the bible says the giver of every good and perfect gift so this is pamela booting santa out of the throne or the there's a seat here that belongs really to almighty god and his throne and his great seat in heaven he is seated in a throne of glory up there. He sends gifts to people. He knows if you've been naughty or nice. Let's uh, dethrone uh, Satan, the great pretender, or Santa, or Satan Claus, and let's exalt instead the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, and his heavenly Father at this great time of the year. So God bless you. Jesus loves you. And this is Pamela Ray here with Hope for Today from your local Cabela's. Oops, did I say that? And sharing the wonderful joys of the true gift at Christmas time in the Christmas season, Jesus Christ, the Savior of the world. Make sure he's your Savior too. God bless you all and ho, ho, ho. Jesus is the way to go and the one to know. Have a beautiful day in Christ. Goodbye for now.